What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a walkthrough animation in your Revit model and then how to export that to an AVI file or video file or if you want, you can export it as a picture like JPEG, PNG and other options. Okay, so let's do this. Now, in order for you to properly do properly create your walkthrough so you need to go on the floor plan so I'll go to the level one and then I'll do it here okay your walkthrough tool can be found here on your quick access toolbar on your default 3d view drop down arrow just click that and then you will see here walkthrough okay so it creates an animated 3d walkthrough pay model just click this one and then after that as you can see it's now set to perspective and then that's the height of your camera from level one and we are now going to place the walkthrough keyframe okay so every time you pick that is called keyframes okay so we are now going to locate our keyframes around this building okay so let's do this so i'm gonna start here Here's my first point, so that's my first keyframe, and then I'm going to pick here. That's my second keyframe. I'm just going to uh, pick a lesser number of keyframe just for us to be able to make this exercise quicker, okay? So I'm going to pick here. So that's another keyframe, another keyframe here. Pick another point, pick another point and this one okay and then once you're done placing your keyframes just finish the walkthrough and that's it so you will notice walkthroughs will be added here on your project browser if you double if you expand that so that's your walkthrough you can double click that and this is now your walkthrough first keyframe so as you can see you can't see the walkthrough or the building, right? Because you still need to edit the walkthrough, okay? You need to modify the camera. So how to do that? So let's go back again to our level one. But before that, you can click this boundary here. Click that first. And then after that, you go to the level one, okay? So basically, you need to select first your camera, and then double click your level one or just go to level one here and then as you can see your camera is, is still selected then you can now select edit walkthrough just click that one and as you can see here on your options bar so you have a total number of 300 frames okay so the higher the frames the nicer the output of your model but the slower it will gonna be exported to an avi file okay so let's say I'm going to click this. I'm going to change this to, let's say, 400. So 400. And then I'll just apply this. Same settings. Okay. And then I'll just select here. Okay. So it's now 400. Now I want to edit my first keyframe. So I'm going to make this uh, 0 because it's already 400. So just make that 0. Like that. And then to edit your... Uh, frames or keyframes remember if you're going to edit the frame it will gonna be 400 times so for the keyframes these uh, red dot those are the keyframes so I only have one two three four five six seven okay or eight I think this is the first one first keyframe two three four five six seven eight okay so let's select edit walkthrough click that one and then there you go so there's um there's my first keyframe so you see that you can move the target point so make sure it's looking at your building you can adjust that so once you do that so you can move on to the next keyframe again move the target make sure it's looking at the building and I think you already get the idea so next keyframe move next keyframe that one next keyframe next keyframe next keyframe and next keyframe that's it so once you're done 
you can open up your walkthrough here or you can select here open walkthrough and there you go and you still need to change the height so that at least if you want you can see the whole building and then you can also change here the visual style you can change the detail level to fine you can change the visual style to shaded view consistent colors or realistic but if you select realistic so this is more for the presentation aspect because if it is realistic of course this will become realistic but the rendering process or the exporting process will gonna take long okay but if you just want to see how it looks like when you export it just to give you an idea so maybe for a quick export you can just select here shaded something like that so once you're happy with your angle camera angle the height of your camera so you can now export this to a video file so to do that just go to the file export arrow and then you see animation and then just click walk through just click that one and then all frames that will gonna be the output length okay the format is shaded with edges you can also use rendering rendering again it will take a lot of time when you uh, export this so that's why I'll just select uh, shaded with edges that's it same settings here you, you may want to include the time and date stamp in, if you want or just leave it unchecked and then once you're done just select here OK okay and then I'll just override my first video here and then I'll just override that and then save if you want to go back to the previous option just click here options okay select OK and then save yes I want to override that and then for the compressor I'll just use full frames and then select OK and let us wait okay so once you're done you can now check how your walkthrough looks like so let's go to the folder where we have saved the video this one and this one let's double click and this is how it looks like okay so it's very simple we just use here shaded with edges but at least you have an idea the, on how your model will look like when you export that so for the uh, keyframes so it's up to you how you pick your keyframes so you can be uh, picking different angles or places of your of your camera depending on how you would like your export model to be looked like okay so that's it for this simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video and if you have questions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day